Hello, in this video, I'll show you how to edit a photo in Cam's Photoshop from the start to the very end. And in case you want to download this raw image to follow along with this tutorial, simply check the link in the video description and simply use this for only practice purposes and don't post it anywhere on social media or don't post it or use it for any kind of commercial purposes. It is basically for only practice purposes. So after importing the raw image in Photoshop, it is going to automatically open up in Camera Raw Filter. So, Camera Raw Filter is basically an engine that is going to help us process the raw image. So for this, we're just going to come and slightly reduce on the exposure or the brightness of the image and do the same for the highlights, reduce on the highlights and do the same for the whites to get back the image perfectly exposed and simply come and add some contrast to the image around, I prefer 10 for this case and I'll open up the shadows and take the blacks down in this case. So after doing this, we're just going to come to the color mixer and in color mixer we have hue saturation and luminance hue deals with changing a color saturation deals with the intensity of a color luminance deals with the brightness level of a given color so for this case i'm just going to slightly change the greens in this case i'll just come to the greens and move the green slider so you can move this slider to see what works best for you so i just prefer the greens to pop a little bit more then i'm just going to come to the saturation and simply reduce on the saturation of the green slightly. I feel like that is okay. Once I'm done doing that, I'm just going to come and make sure I change this setting right here. So click on it and make sure the bit depth is set to 16 bits per channel. Once I'm done doing that, make sure sharpen for screen is checked and amount is set to standard and click OK. So for this setting, you have to do this once and every time you open up a raw image in camera raw, is going to have these settings embedded in automatically just come and click on open to open the photo into photoshop for us to do the next adjustment so for the first step that we have to do in photoshop we want to first of all crop the image so in order to crop the image simply come and get the crop tool and choose a ratio of 45 or 8 by 10 and click and drag the image to crop the image you can as well click on the corners to move that and hit enter or return to crop the image after cropping the image the first thing we want to do regarding this very image is first of all retouching the skin or smoothening the skin using frequency separation remember frequency separation divides the image into the colors and the textures so just come to the background image right here and simply press ctrl j twice or you can use command j twice or simply drag and drop on the new layer icon to create two layers and rename this to color double click to rename the topmost layer to texture and after renaming these two layers come to the color layer turn off the texture layer and simply come to filter come to blur and come to gaussian blur take the radius slider all the way to the minimum which is 0 0.1 and click on the skin area that has more skin details then move the radius slider click and hold down to drag and stop at that point whereby the details on the skin are just starting to disappear. Simply come and click OK. Then come to the texture layer, turn it back on. Then you're going to come to image, come to apply image. And it's going to open up the apply image window in this case. The source is basically the name of the photo that we are trying to edit. Under layer, select the color layer. Channel select RGB. Blending. For the blending, simply make sure you select add or past 100%. Preserve transparency and mask cannot check. The scale is 2. Offset 0. And make sure you turn on the invert option. And you'll see the textures on this square layer. Simply come and click on OK. Come to the blend mode. Change it from normal. And change it all the way down to linear light. Then select both layers. You can use Ctrl or Command and click on both layers. And simply drag these two layers and put them into a group. And you can rename the group to frequency separation once you're done doing that simply open up the frequency separation group and select the color layer come and turn off the texture layer and for this step we just want to smoothen the skin by blending the skin color so you're just going to come to the brushes and select the mesa brush tool and in case you can't locate the mesa brush tool under the brushes you can locate the mesa brush tool below here so for this i'm just going to come and make sure the hardness set to zero soft round brush is selected Make sure clean brush is selected. 
and measure this second option that is clean brush after each stroke is selected. The weight is 9%, the load is 75%, the mix is 90% and flow is 100%. Then measure sample areas is not turned on or is not checked. And for the next step, you just want to smoothen the skin by blending the skin color transition. So how do we blend? Slightly zoom in because this is a medium photo and it is at a distance. So slightly zoom in, control plus, or you can use com command plus on the keyboard to zoom in. Then to blend, measure you re can resize the brush tool by using the open and close square bracket keys on the keyboard. So to blend, simply click and hold down and blend a given color. Blend the bright colors alone, the medium colors alone, and the dark colors alone in the image. So do that, do that for every area in the image, like that, to smoothen the skin. So we are using a very small brush to blend, and we're not using a very big brush because we are working on relatively small areas regarding this very image. So you have to follow the direction of the way a given area is shaped to keep and maintain the original shape of the body structures of the subject in this case. So this is what you have to do for every area that has skin color or skin tone. So just do that. You have to keep on using different sizes of the brush tool or the mixer brush tool that we're using. So for the hand, we have to follow this kind of direction because the hand is also moving in this kind of direction so that we can keep and maintain the original shape of the model's hand or the subjective's hand in this case. So blend like that and I hope you can see the result. So reduce on the size and continue working on these areas of the subject. So I hope you can see what we are achieving in this case. And take your time as you're trying to blend because at the end of the day, you don't want to leave out any area that unworked on regarding the model's skin or the model's body. So take your time as you're trying to blend like that. So like this, we are now done smoothing the skin and blending the transition between the skin of the subject. You can come and turn on the texture layer and simply zoom out, command zero. You can use control zero or command zero. You can see before, after. So after blending, you can now come and select the texture layer and leave it turned on. Simply come and get the clone sample tool and measure for your settings. Soft one brush is selected. The mode is set to normal. Opacity at 100%, flow at 100%. Align is checked and the sample is set to current layer. Yes. After doing this, simply zoom in. So to remove pimples or blemishes from the model skin, make sure you zoom all the way in so that you can see or identify the pimples in the image and remove a pimple. We make sure that the size of the clone stamp tool is slightly bigger than the pimple or it is slightly bigger than the blemish that we want to remove. So to remove a pimple, hold down the option key on the keyboard, alternate for Windows, option for Mac, and click on a clean area near the pimple. To release, release the option key on the keyboard and simply click over the pimple or the blemish to cover it with clean skin. So you have to do that for the rest of the pimples all over the subjective skin to remove them. So do that for all the pimples or the blemishes in the image. So command zero to zoom out. You can see before, after. So after doing the skin retouching, the next step is going to be working on the skin tones to create even skin color or skin tones for the subject. So for this, we are going to first of all create a stamp visible layer by pressing shift option command E or you can use shift alternate control E. Shift option command E for Mac, shift alternate control E for those using PC or Windows and simply come to the adjustments right here and simply come to gradient map. So in come to gradient map, it is going to display any color, don't mind about the color that is going to be displaying over the image. So what we want to do in this case, we're just going to come and make sure the gradient icon is selected. With the gradient icon selected, simply come and turn off the gradient layer. Then make sure you have properties displaying right here. In case you don't have properties displaying, simply come to window and make sure properties is checked. Then what we want to do, you're just going to come and click on this gradient layer. Then click on this pointer, this 
left hand pointer make sure the location is set to zero click on the color option and zoom in so before you zoom in make sure the sample size is set to five by five average sample all is selected show sampling ring is selected so you have to zoom in and click on an area on the darker skin tone of the subject so click on the darkest area on the model skin and click ok click on this right hand pointer location is 100 click on the color option and click on the brightest color on the model skin and click ok and now click in the middle to make a pointer type in the location to 50 then click on the color option and click on what you feel is the medium color or the medium skin tone for a subject and now come and click OK. Once you're done doing this, simply come and click or select OK. Then simply come right here and turn on the layer once again. Change its blend mode from normal and change it all the way down to color. After doing that, simply click right here on this white layer mask. Then press Ctrl I on the keyboard or you can use Control I or you can use Command I on the keyboard to invert the layer. After inverting the layer, the next step is going to be to paint using the brush tool. So simply come to the brushes and get the normal brush tool. And for settings, make sure soft round brush is selected. The mode is set to normal, opacity and flat 100%. And make sure you have black and white on these two color swatches. So simply click on the tennis swatches to reset the colors to black and white. And after doing that, make sure white is the top color and start painting over the model skin. So start painting on the skin of the model or the subject in this case. So keep away from painting the hair and some other unwanted areas. So I'm just going to quickly paint on the skin like that. Keep away from painting on the makeup because you don't want to change or distort the original makeup of the subject's face or skin. So take your time as you're trying to do this because sometimes you don't want color to spill here and there. That is why you have to be very careful in trying to do the painting process. Or you can as well come to this layer and make sure you come to select and come to subject. So during the painting process, you can limit the colors sorry about this you can limit the colors so make sure you come back and select this image so that you can limit the colors within the subject area and the color shouldn't go to the background so just come and paint like that and i hope you can see how the skin is turning out to look nice and uniform all over the image i know this may be looking unreal or unrealistic but you're going to be perfecting that later on in this very video so just paint like that don't leave out any area that has skin or skin tones all over the image so just paint like that so in case you make a mistake during the painting process you can paint using a black brush in the in those particular areas so i'm just going to slightly zoom in reduce on the size and paint on this tiny area right there i hope you can see how we are trying to get even skin color or skin tones for our subject like i said in case you paint extras let me show you how you can remove or eliminate those extras so you simply get black as the top color so with black as the top color or the four color you can now erase the extra colors all over the image and white is to paint back colors so you can see right here we hadn't painted Press X on the keyboard to paint back those colors. Then X to switch between black and white on the image like that. So you can now come and press Ctrl D or you can use Command D to deselect the active selection. You can see color is spilling right here. You can use black and erase color from those areas and paint back color in this area. Command minus to zoom out. So after working on the skin, you can see this looks unnatural and unrealistic. Always come the opacity and reduce on the opacity to your taste or to your liking. So that the color on the skin can look natural and a little bit more on the real or realistic side. So you can see right here we have been painted. You 
can now come and get white with this layer mask selected and paint right in those areas that you feel you hadn't painted quite well. So command minus. So after we have done this, we are now going to perfect the colors. So simply first of all, come to adjustments and come to hue and saturation. Make sure you come to the reds and come to lightness and you can take down the lightness just like that. To reduce on the oranges regarding the skin tone. And right now you're just going to come and do the same for creating a black and white adjustment layer. Change the blend mode from normal to multiply. Come the opacity and reduce on the overall opacity. Just like this. You can see before, after. And this adds more contrast to the subjective skin. Then you're going to come and create a selective color adjustment layer. Come and select the blacks and come to science and just move this forward to create a little bit more cinematic looking blacks or richer blacks regarding this very image. And you can simply come and add more contrast by creating a levels adjustment layer and click on the option key on the keyboard, move this up until when the blacks are just starting to show and do the same for the white point option and click and drag this towards the left hand side and stop at that point whereby the whites are just starting to show in the image. You can see before, after, and this makes the image pop in this case. So once we're done doing this, let's do a little bit of eye whitening. So to whiten the eyes of the subject, we are basically going to create a hue and saturation adjustment layer and simply come to master, measure master selected. Desaturate the image by moving down the saturation to around negative 75. Press Ctrl I on the keyboard or you can use Command I on the keyboard to invert the effect. And you can zoom into the image by using Ctrl plus on the keyboard or you can use Command plus on the keyboard. Zoom all the way in and simply paint using a white brush in the white area. And you can do the same for teeth whitening of the subject. So we are basically going to paint using that. You can see how this is going to be whitening the eyes of the subject. Ctrl 0 to zoom out. So let's look at the before and after for the retouching and color grading of this very image. You can see before, after, before, after, before, after. In case the skin is looking too yellow for your liking, ensure to come to the hue and saturation layer that we created initially before. Double click on this icon and come to the reds and you can play around with the hue values to your taste or to your liking to make the skin look better. So. I feel like about negative one looks okay before, after. So this is how you can edit a photo in Photoshop. And finally, to export the image, simply come to File, Export, come to Export As. And it's going to open up the Export As window right here in Photoshop. Under Format, make sure the format is set to JPEG. Quality set to the maximum because we want a very detailed image. Under Resample, make sure Resample is set to by Cubic Sharper. And scroll down to color space make sure it is set to convert srgb and embed color profile have been checked and simply click on export and you can save the image in whatever location that you want so this is how you can edit a photo in photoshop from the start to the very end i hope you have enjoyed this very video Ronix from Ronix photography thank you for watching and i'll see you in more, yet more videos on this channel don't forget keep practicing and as well keep creating